And here we are with Maguire's UK to check out Tom's amazing Amazon. <laughs> So uh, yeah, we drove this back 1,260 miles, totally stock, and then, depending on who you're speaking to, ruined it. I knew that I wanted to do old and fast. So I originally looked at BMWs, and I wanted to do like an E30 with a V10 M5 engine in it, but the budget was pretty much gone in the engine alone. So whilst I don't have a, a, a sort of a, a, an amazing year's worth of backdrop, it, I, I just fell in love with it. Um, yeah, because as I said, like, when you told me you were going to do one, I, I was, well, that's a bit strange. You know, it's, it's, of course, as soon as you think of Amazon, you think of Amazon Prime, yeah. don't you? And well, this is a prime Amazon. Well, thank you. <laughs> um, the, the first time I saw one in the flesh was when we landed in Sweden to pick this up. So we'd already bought it, and I hadn't actually seen one in the flesh before, so that's um, probably stupid, but that sums me up, really. So There's so much work in this car that is unseen. Uh, but in short, we raised, I wanted this to lay frame, and I know that's a really overused Pukey saying, but it does it does sit on the floor. But a lot of these the Amazons are tail heavy because the subframe sits and it sits them nose up. So we raise, set about GM Bodycraft set about raising the subframe up 75 mil. So all the subframe is all cut out, raised, boxed back in. Uh, Gary then set about making us a custom tunnel because we're running a Volvo 240 rear axle, just stronger disc conversion. Um, four link suspension in the rear, and then it went to the install company to have, uh, and it's wrong of me to just say, just the installed imported, because it's not, it's full, yeah. you know, it's, it's just the full amount custom. of work that goes into it all. It's basically a space frame at the back. Look at that. So what's, what is that engine out of? Because it obviously wasn't in here originally. Could have been though, couldn't it? Could have been, looks like it. But. Um, and that was really my key, key thing to it. So when I looked at doing turbo engine, there's a lot of assumption and there's a lot of really other good Volvos out there that have gone the T5 engine route, which is the five cylinder. Um, I wanted to keep it as close to its native engine as possible. So this engine is the 2.3 uh, turbo out of a Volvo 940 and a like. Without being too nerdy, it's a red block engine and the red blocks younger brother was in this, it's where it started as an 1800. Right. Is this engine like a tuned engine? Uh, like, you know, like you get is, your Skyline RB26s and your two JZs. It's got a cam in it, so it's got a, it's got a turbo cam and a, a high flow head and a big turbo. It's literally, but uh, so from what I read online, that engine's good for 600 horsepower. Blimey. And um, there's custom bits from Forge Motorsport, Owen Development Turbo, uh, but it's all in its house, thanks to Deutsch Tech, really. They took this whole project on with my stupid idea. I knew I wanted to have a, a bonnet exit exhaust. That's one, because I spoke about the, you know, we wanted it to be on the floor, so there's no space for an exhaust and two, I wanted it to spit flames. Yeah. I want you to talk to me about the colour. It's like a pistachio. All the pictures they sent over, it was cream. I just identified it as being cream <laughs> until we got there. And when we got there, I was like, this is a different car, right? It's not the same. Because then in the flesh, I could see that it's green. It, the, the actual colour is light green. It's Volvo light green. Paint code number 91 for the nerds out there. Oh, okay. There yeah. we go. And it lovely. Perfect finish again. Um, reflex again. Reflex, so that's, that's all cool. Yeah. Standard steering wheel. Yeah. Amazing. Um, dash retrimmed? No, that's how Volvo had it, and it's a linear speedo as well, so I wanted to keep all of that factory. So cool. When did this car come out? 1966. 66. You'll also see that the green interior runs throughout. I really wanted it to keep aesthetically that, yep. that classic eye line. So Cobra have custom made some Nagaro seats for us, which has removed the headrest bit. But and, most. And then the real cool detail yeah. is that you've got the original seat yeah. stitched in the middle of it. So I really wanted to have the whole material across the, the, the whole centre, but the waffle just wouldn't go enough. So Cobra have stitched in that detail into the middle just to give it that factory feel, but it's obviously just so far away from being factory. Like, uh, all the airlift hardware, uh, manifolds and compressors are all nicely tucked away as well. Twin compressor setup. Twin compressors, That'd yeah. be nice and quick. Uh, yeah, it is really good. 
all the bright work, all the metal work, chrome, lights, bumpers, badges, it's all the original metal work from it. Wow, well, so um, it, it was a really good base car. It really was, good. Unlike yeah. the five. Unlike the five, I learned the hard way. <laughs> <laughs> and you've just built another one that we're going to do in, a, in another episode. Yeah, yeah, the third series is underway, so yeah. And you say you've taken that up another level. But anyway, that's not for today. Nope. But thank you very much for showing me around your cars. And yeah, looking forward to the next one. Thank you.